funky, uh, bluesy riff reminiscent of Robin Ford. And in fact, it's very similar to a song called Top Down Blues that he does on his 2014 album, Day in Nashville. You might want to check that out. All right. So the riff happens to be an A um, that we're playing it here. Uh, but it's totally movable. You can move it anywhere. It's nice closed position riff, so that's kind of cool about it. All right. So it starts out doing this. Now that's a combination of two different chords, both A chords. The first is an A ninth, um, which is uh, the, on the fifth string, we got the twelfth, which is the root, that's an A. Then we've got fourteen on the fourth, and on the third, second, and first, we have twelve. Now we take that chord, and we just play the top three strings. All right, a lot of funk guitar uses very high voicings, and this is an example of it. Um, we're just going to play that. Now we're going to slide it up to the 14th, so 12th to 14th, like so. All right. That's the first part, right? That's the second part. Now that's based on an A major. Now you can think about that. You can visualize that A major. That's an A major triad. The A major triad is uh, the tenth on the second, which is an A, which is the root note, um, the ninth on the third, and the uh, eleventh on the fourth, like so. That's an A major triad. Now you can extend it. You can think about that. I think the right way to think about that is to play an open C chord and just bring that all the way up to the twelfth fret, and you'll realize that's an A chord there. So we're just playing the four, three, and second of that A chord. And that's the shape that you want to think of when you play that. All right, so the, the pattern is to play this. So there's a couple of hammer-ons there. The first two are uh, just the strings second and third, and you're hammering on the third from the ninth to the eleventh. The, the uh, last part is basically the same chord, but instead of uh, hammering on on the on the third string from the ninth to the eleventh, you're keeping that on the ninth on the third string, and you're hammering on from the ninth to the eleventh on the fourth string, like so. All right, here's the whole thing together. You want to strive to keep a real loose wrist on that one. Uh, that takes a little bit of practice to get comfortable. Incidentally, it's not the only place that you can play that triad. You can also play this A triad up here at the 14th. That works just as well. We're going to play it down. Here. All right. Once you're done with A, of course, in the blues, the next one is D. So the pattern is the same. You're just playing it in D where... Here's the D note on the 5th string, 5th fret, that's D. So here's our D9. Here's our D9 with the things taken off. Alright. And here's our D triad. On the 3rd string, or on the 2nd string, 3rd fret, that defines our D. Alright, so it sounds the same. Alright, it goes back to A. Finally, we do E. Here's our E ninth, right? Uh, root note on the seventh uh, fret, fi uh, seventh fret, fifth string. Again, we're just playing the top three. Now I play this, so I'm just walking that down. All right. So that's the E. Now we're going to walk to the D. I just play that. It sounds very similar to uh, basically double stops based out of an A blues scale, right? <laughs> so that's why I play that. All right. But there's lots of different variations you can do. You can even just play a string. And then we're back to the A and we finish it up. All right. Well, anyway, I love that one. It's a nice, funky little, uh, funky little uh, R&B-ish type of blues. 
And I just love that kind of stuff. So, till next time, we'll see you on down the road. Thank you.